In this video on Microsoft Excel spreadsheets, we're going to be looking at how we are going to work with multiple worksheets. When working with Excel, you sometimes only work in one sheet, but you can actually work in multiple worksheets in one Excel file. So yeah, I've got an Excel spreadsheet where I've got lots of different sheets at the bottom. So I'm working in this one with student data. And on this sheet over here, we've got our summary, which I want to get actual data from the other sheet. So before we get to that, let's have a look at the features that we got. If we want to right click on a sheet, we can hide it if we don't want people to see it. And then I can just right click here and unhide. And then it'll give me a list of all the hidden sheets and say, no, I want that one back, please. So that's how you can hide it. You can even change the color of it if you want to make it maybe change the color. So it's got almost like a little bit of a background color to it when you're not using it so you can color code your sheets and you can protect it which means you can put a password on that particular sheet so only that sheet is protected not just the whole workbook you can rename it if you want to change the name or you can just click on it twice and then you can go worksheet extra if you want to change the name um, I don't want to do that I'm just keep it to its original name and maybe we want to move it now you can drag it to where you want it to go do you see that little black arrow shows me where i want it to go you can actually move it around you can also right click and click on that move or copy and yeah you can move it around your own spreadsheet or you can actually move it to another spreadsheet now the key is you need to have that spreadsheet open i've already got another one open over here so if i want to put this particular sheet in another spreadsheet then you can go and select the one that's opened and then you can say where you want it to be in that spreadsheet now if I want to not move it but to make a copy and this is the key thing if I click OK it's going to take it away from my original one I don't want to do that I want to just create a copy so I'm going to click on create a copy and it will then make a copy in book one so if I click OK here you see I'm in book one there's only that sheet and that sheet and there it's got a copy if I go back to the original one you'll see that my student data is still here this is also useful if you want to make a copy of this data for another sheet so you can actually just right click and move copy and then just make a copy of it within the same sheet if you want to just copy the data across very easily and you can also delete the sheet if you want to remove it now what about if we want to use formulas in one sheet that refers to data in another worksheet so let's see how we're going to do that so when i click here i want to find the average total so i want to find the average of all of these final marks basically so we know there's an average formula so i'm going to say equals average and now i'm going to select student data and then i'm going to select the range from student data and then I'm going to close the bracket. Now you'll see over here, I'm not going to click on summary. I'm going to keep it here. So you can see the formula is the name of the sheet with the exclamation mark and then the cell range. So that's how you refer to sheet in other data. Now, if I press enter, you'll see that it gave me a summary of student data exclamation mark F5 to F24. So that's where the summary is. If I did a summary over here and said equals average of this data, inside the sheet let's see if it's the same results it also got 24.6 so we know that that is correct now if we try the example again and i say equals max we want to find the max mark so the max total so i'm going to select all of these values i think the max mark is 40.5 now if i then decide to click back on summary do you notice how it's changed the worksheet to now refer to summary so if i press close bracket now and press enter it doesn't give me the correct result so make sure that when you are doing that formula that you do not click back on the original sheet because as you click on multiple sheets it will then start changing that data over there so you must make sure that you finish your formula put a comma in if there are multiple criteria or close the bracket and then press enter then you'll get the result or we could type the formula in mainly so if we want the lowest mark we know that's the min formula so i'm going to say equals the name of the worksheet student data exclamation mark f5 colon f24 i think that is the range of cells let's press enter those all set f5 to f24 so there we go so then that should be the lowest mark if so on. so that's how you refer to data in another spreadsheet now let's try something here let's change the name of the spreadsheet to student space data now if i do that i want you to take note of how the formula has changed it still has the space there but because there's a space it puts a single quote on either side so that it knows that that is the whole name of the worksheet so if you're referring to worksheets that have spaces in the name remember in your formula you are going to have to put a quote around that whole name so that it doesn't think that student and data are two separate things that the student data is one whole spreadsheet name so just remember that if your worksheets have spaces in them and that is all you need to know about working with worksheets 
If you enjoyed this video, make sure you click on that subscribe button and share us with your friends so that they can find out about Excel as well. Remember to leave a like, leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you. And remember to follow us on TikTok at Mr. Long Education. And don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long way.